everyone. In this video, I will introduce you to the first of four tools that I recommend to all InLab 334 students, Explore Census Data. You are looking for data at the national, state, parish, and community level. Some of these resources will only cover one of those levels. Some may cover many. Some data, especially community level data, may not be formally published at all. You will probably have to combine multiple different sources and multiple different source types to find all the data you need. Explore Census data is one of the rare sources that gives statistical information on three or more of these levels, including the community level. You'll notice that this demonstration will probably be the longest because this tool is such a rich place to get information. I always recommend students start their search here. To get to Explore Census data, go to the United States section and then the Demographic Census subsection. Explore Census data is the first linked resource in that subsection. You're probably most familiar with the census performed every 10 years, but the U.S. Census Bureau collects data through many other surveys, such as the Economic Census and the American Community Survey. Explore Census data allows you to search for data from these various surveys in one place. I'll demonstrate two different ways that you can search via Explore Census data. The first way is to search by geography. In the search bar, I'm going to enter Hammond. Under the suggested searches, I will select Hammond City, Louisiana, which will take me to a results screen. The results screen includes many different individual data tables, but I recommend starting at the profile page. You can select the profile page from the top right of the results screen. The profile page allows you to navigate between different topic areas before selecting a data table. You can scroll down the page to view all topic areas. I recommend going section by section to see if the information is useful to you. There is much more data than may appear at first glance. You can also select a specific topic area from the list provided on the left, which will navigate directly to that section. For example, when I select Health, I move down that page to that section and it loads the data for me. In the Health section, I see various statistics related to the disabled population in Hammond. For the percentages, I also see some information provided, like the table number, DP02, and the survey, 2019 American Community Survey 5-Year Estimates that collected the original data. If you select the table number, it will load the complete information of that table for you. I recommend doing this if you find a statistic that's useful, because each table covers a lot of different areas, not just the one that it says initially. So you may find additional data from the table. For the bar graph of types of disabilities, you must select Share Export to generate the permanent link and use that link to gather the table and survey information. When I follow that link, I see that the bar graph is from table S1810, created from data from the 2019 American Community Survey 5-Year Estimates. A good rule of thumb as you gather statistics is to make sure you write as much publication information down as possible. That would include not just the title of a table and its data, but also the table number, the survey, the publication year, the publishing group, and so forth. Gathering this publication information initially helps you locate the source again later. It also helps you because you're gathering pieces you will need to cite the source later. The second way to search Explore Census data is through an advanced search. On the Explore Census data homepage, select the link titled Advanced Search. That will bring you to the Advanced Search screen. On the Advanced Search screen, there is a search box where you can enter a keyword. 
a keyword may be a particular topic you want to find, such as Internet. It could also be a table ID number or title that you have written down from a previous search. I'll use our last table, S1810, as an example. The advanced search screen also lets you put filters that you can apply to your search. The most helpful for your project is likely the geography filter, which allows you to specify which geography you want for that data. This filter selection is where you can specify you want data at different geography levels in the same table. Another useful filter is the topics filter, where you can browse to see which topics are included in this search. If you don't know where to start for your topic, browsing those might be helpful. With the geography filter, we are going to indicate that we want the state, the parish, and the community. For state, select state from the geography level, then go down the alphabetical list to Louisiana. You will notice in the selected filters bar that now the Louisiana geography filter has been added. For parish level data, we're going to go to county. Then select our state, Louisiana, and then go through our alphabetical list of parishes. Hammond is in Tangipahoa Parish, so I'm going to select that. For Hammond, I need to go to the one that says place. The place geography level is going to be where your community is. I then have to select Louisiana and then Hammond from the alphabetical list of places. Now I have selected my table, S1810, to be searched in the Louisiana, Tangipahoa Parish, and Hammond City geography levels. Now I'll select the search button. Your list of results will include tables, maps, and any web pages that may match what you're looking for. You'll also notice that it also gives you the Hammond City profile again. The first result is the table that we want to look at. We now know that this table is called Disability Characteristics. It comes from the American Community Survey, it has been gathered for several years, and the table number is what we put in, S1810. To open the table, select its linked title. The geographies will be listed at the top, so the first one we see is Louisiana, then Tangipahoa Parish. But wait, where's Hammond? We know that we selected it in our geography filter. The reason Hammond is not here has to do with the product. Right now, we're looking at this table from the 2019 American Community Survey one-year estimates. We need to change that to the 2019 American Community Survey five-year estimates. When we change from the one-year to the five-year estimates, we now have this table with Louisiana, Tangipahoa Parish, and Hammond. Told you noting down the product would be helpful later. As we move down the first row, we start to notice that this information with disabilities is broken down a lot more than the initial bar graph we found. It's subdivided into race, age, different kinds of disabilities and age, and more. This is another reason why I always recommend looking at the full table. I hope this video helps you see how rich the data in this tool is. I highly recommend starting with Explore Census data when looking for statistics, both due to the breadth of topics covered and the various geography levels included. 
As always, if I can be of any help, please don't hesitate to contact me.